Okay, here is a test question. An alpha particle has a mass of 6.68 .6 times 10 to the negative 28th kilograms. So let's put that as m equals 6.68 .6 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms. And a charge of plus 2e. So q equals 2, and e is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. e is a charge of an electron. It has an initial velocity, v1, in, in the x direction of 5.3 times 10 to the 6th meters per second, and it's headed towards a gold nucleus. So here I have my positive alpha particle. That's the symbol for alpha. It's moving this way, and then here's my much bigger AU is gold, uh, gold nucleus, and this is plus 79E. And so if we assume the gold nucleus remains stationary, how close does this get before stopping? So why does it stop? Well, if this is plus 79E and this is plus 2E, then there is a force pushing backwards this way. And so as this thing moves this way, it's going to slow down and it will eventually stop some distance right here. We'll call that R. You can't use your normal kinematic equations and force stuff because the as this gets closer, the force gets greater. So unless you do some serious calculus stuff, which you probably don't want to do, you can't do that. Instead, we can use the work energy principle. So this says the work is equal to the change in energy. I'm going to have my system be the alpha particle plus the gold which means that there's no external forces on my system. So I will have zero work, change in kinetic energy, plus change in electric potential energy, where kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and the potential energy is k q1 q2 over r. Okay, so let's just put in what we know. This starts assuming far away with a velocity and up here it has no velocity. So let me move over here. Okay, so I'm going to have 0 equals k2 minus k1 plus u2 minus u1. And so just as a reminder, here's the position at 1 where it's moving and then here's position 2, a distance r away, and it's not moving. So 0, k2, at the closest point, it's going to stop. So it's going to be no kinetic energy, minus 1 half mv1 squared. u2 is right here, not the band, the electric potential energy. So that's going to be equal to plus k times q1, which is 2e, that's the charge of the proton, the alpha particle, times 79e, that's the gold all of that over r. And remember, k is the Coulomb constant. k equals 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. And I don't know r. Now, the initial potential, when it's far away, it's r is really big, so it's going to be 0, so just minus 0. So that's all I need to do is solve this for r. So, and v is a number. So let's add the kinetic energy to both sides. I get 1 half m v1 squared equals k times 2e times 79e over r. Uh, so I'm going to multiply both sides by r. I get r times 1, this is right, this is m v1 squared over 2 equals k times e squared times 2 times 79. Let's put those two together. Now I'm going to multiply uh, by 2 and divide by mv squared, and I get r equals 2ke squared 2 times 79, all of that over mv1 squared. So if I put in my numbers, I get 2, 9 times 10 to the 9th, 2, 7, oh, I got my e, 79 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th squared over uh, 6.68 times 10 to the negative 28th times 5.3 times 10 to the 6th squared. Okay, this 
is going to be tricky to enter. You have scientific notation, you have stuff that's squared, so just be very careful. Okay, if you don't, if you're not like skilled with your calculator here, you know, take your time, write down each individual step. Don't try to do it all at once, which is what I'm going to do right now, because okay. So I'm going to take my calculator. I don't know if you can see that. That's good enough. Okay, so let's just go clear to enter this nine times 10 to the ninth times. Now I need to multiply by two, two times, 79, 79 times. Multiply it by this squared. So I'm gonna say 1.6 times 10 to the uh, change sign, 19. Now I'm going to square that. Where's my square button? I have y to the x. There should be a squared button. I haven't used this calculator in a really long time. Okay, let's just do enter. Now I'm going to say 2, I think this is right, 2, that. Yep, so it has the right exponent. And now I have that other stuff in there. I just need to multiply it by that stuff, so it just times. Okay, now I have the whole top. Now I'm going to divide by this. 6.68 times 10 to the negative 28 divided by. I took all that stuff and divided by that number. Now I'm going to take all that stuff and divide by this number but that I need to square first. So I'm going to say 5.3 times 10 to the sixth. Enter 2 squared. Now I have that squared. Now I need to divide it. I get that. Okay. 3.88 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. There is a chance I made a mistake on that number, but I showed all my work, so I should get full credit.